Hi there, this is Shivanand Thorat. In this second episode of the series Data Analysis Using Excel, we will see how to compute descriptive statistics in Microsoft Excel using the Data Analysis option available under the Data tab. This option is not active by default and you need to manually activate it from the settings. How to activate it is covered in the first episode of this series. You can find that video in the i button and I have also left its link in the description. Now let us see how to compute descriptive statistics. So I have this hypothetical data having two variables namely stress and anxiety. As you can see there are 30 participants in this data set. In order to compute descriptive statistics go to the data tab. Click on the data analysis option available in the right top corner. This dialog box will pop up. Select the descriptive statistics option. Click OK. This descriptive statistics box will pop up. Now it is asking you to specify the input range and you can see there are two options given for the data set. Whether the data is grouped by columns or grouped by rows. In our case it is grouped by columns so we will keep it as it is. If data is grouped by rows check this second rows option. One more checkbox is asking us to specify if we have labels in the first row. And we have a dedicated first row for the labels like ID, stress and anxiety. Thus let us check this box. Now put the text cursor in the input range box and then start selecting the data. We will select data including the label row as we have specified it. This second section consists of output options. We can obtain output range in the same excel sheet or in another excel sheet or in the new excel workbook. Let us specify it in the same sheet. For that select output range. Put text cursor in the space next to it and then select a cell in the same sheet where you want the output. For example this cell. Now there are some more options to check like summary statistics and confidence level for mean. Kth largest and kth smallest we get by default in the output so no need to check these. Click OK this will generate output. Adjust the column widths. And you can see you get descriptive statistics for two variables namely stress and anxiety. Under descriptive statistics you get mean, standard error, median, mode, standard deviation, sample variance, process, skewness, range, minimum value, maximum value, sum, count, and confidence level at 95%. I will explain all these statistics in the next episode that is in episode 3. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video. Subscription to the channel would be awesome. Also don't forget to press the bell icon. As usual if you have any questions feel free to contact me and I would be happy to assist you. My name is Shivanand Thorath and I will catch you in the next one.